what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to be wrapping my downpipe and my uh dump pipe for the wastegate and um, i'm going to be using this D dei high temp silicone spray so i figure i'll just make a quick video to go over it because not a lot of people are aware of this or know how to use this so this is basically a um as it says here it's a high temp silicone coating and this goes directly on the on the wrap and what it does it's basically a sealer so it helps it from um, frailing over time it basically just protects the wrap but in addition to that it adds a uh, second layer of coating and heat protection as you can see it protects up to uh, 1200 degrees Fahrenheit so this is pretty good what I'm gonna do in my case I'm gonna hit the pipes with this because you could you could go directly on the pipes and again it helps like a coating and a heat insulation so I'm gonna hit the pipes with this then I'm gonna wrap them and then I'm gonna hit the wrap with uh, with the paint also so that's gonna give it some good protection there this is an alternative to Cerakote obviously Cerakote is gonna be better in my opinion than the wrap and the paint but um, this is gonna hold up pretty good and it's gonna help engine bay temps um, to decrease it's, it's obviously gonna be way better than not wrapping them so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, hit the pipes with this very lightly. It doesn't have to be a heavy coat. Um, while I'm doing that, I have the uh, the wraps here. I have the wraps here soaking in water. That's going to help for them to flex and wrap the pipe a lot better. So let's go ahead and hit these and uh, go from there. I have it set up here. I have an old drill here that I'm using as my spray so again, I'm just going to hit uh, the pipes here with, uh, with the coating, very light, before I go ahead and wrap it. And it does go on very heavy, so really one coat is all you need. All right, so I have it pretty much hit. I'm gonna just let it dry and then start to wrap it. This is also, um, again, it's a silicone, so it's also gonna help the wrap to stick to the pipe a little bit better and uh, a little bit easier to wrap. So you're gonna let this dry for a little and then start the wrapping process. Okay, so they're dry. And as you can see, it's like a satin, flat, black, and they do dry pretty fast so I didn't go too perfect with the spray because you know I'm gonna wrap it and where I miss the wrap is gonna take it back up plus after I wrap it I'm gonna spray it again so it's gonna get another coating so I'm not too worried about that so yeah so let's go ahead and I'll start the wrapping process All right, so I got the downpipe wrapped up. Looks pretty good. Um, there are a lot of videos online that shows how to wrap. You want to start, you know, at one end, obviously. 
and just overlap the loops try to dry it as uh, tight as possible that's what wetting it soaking it in the water helps it to be flexible so you could dry it really tight and it gets really tight onto the pipe so right now what I'm going to do is put it in the sun so it could dry, suck the water out, and then that's going to help it uh, compress also to the pipe before I go ahead and paint it. Um, then I'm going to wrap the down pipe. So I'm just going to put this in the sun while I wrap the, uh, while I wrap the down pipe. Alright, so I got them dried out. Um, put the straps on. Use double straps. That helps to secure the wrap a lot better. In the middle I use one, and the ends I use double, because when you overlap it, depending on how wide your strap is, then one side is going to be strapped, the other side is going to be down. So I just use a VQC double strap to hold them. So now I'm going to hit the wrap with the paint and then let that dry. So all sprayed up and dry and this is what the finished product look like. So we're gonna throw it on the car and then also gonna do a temperature comparison because my turbo back housing and my turbo manifold are seracoded and then the muffler where this connects to is not seracoded. So I'm gonna do a temperature comparison between the three and see what the temperature difference is. Um, that should be some good information. So let's go ahead and throw this on the car and then we're gonna get that done. Okay, so I got the car running. It's been running for a while, up to operating temperature, and I've um, been running now for about 10, 15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some temperature, some different temperatures, and see what the temperature difference is. Uh, see how we look it. So first one is gonna be the manifold. So the car's been off now for five minutes and I'm gonna take the temperatures, um, differences between all of them 
once the car has been shut off and it's sat for a little. So let's go right back to the same area where we took the temperature before in the manifold. And on the manifold, we are about 480. On the back housing, see what we are right here. So back housing, we are at about 506, and on the downpipe, we're about 345. So let's see what we have here. Let's go ahead and assess these numbers. So this is what we took when the car was running. So the manifold, 744. That's gonna be the hottest part because that's where the source of the heat is coming from, right from the head, from the exhaust port of the head. So that's the hottest part. From the manifold to the back housing, which is we did a couple inches that's probably like six seven inches apart we already saw a difference of what's this like a hundred and eight degrees we saw a difference right there and then from the back housing to the um to the downpipe that we wrapped that also is about 106 degrees so the downpipe is working it's it's um about this you know it's not as hot it's not as hot as the um, as the back housing, and it's it's giving us the same the same number difference or the same difference from the manifold to the back housing. So that seemed to be working. The wrap and the spray, it, I would say it's working because it's not as hot as the back housing, so it's giving us a less number. So that's pretty good. The turbo blanket is super super um, good from the back housing service of the back housing to the turbo blanket that was a 400 and what's that 410 degrees difference wow that's crazy so turbo blanket definitely works you need to get yourself a turbo blanket so that's pretty good and then these numbers are what we took after the car was off so compared to the um to the hot numbers as you can see turn the car off turbo manifold that went down that's about 200 and um, I would say 240 ish difference right there from this one to this one that's 136 in the back housing and then the downpipe was also like a 200 180 ish difference so that's pretty cool um, some good information here shows how everything works the way it should and I would say the wrap and the DEI spray works pretty good that's definitely a recommendation for that that's going to help to keep engine temps down and have your motor running efficiently so that's going to be it for this video guys going to close this video out here thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one